All right, I called Feral Gas, who provided the big tank here, and talked a little bit about what I've seen with the low, uh, low pressure when the appliances are on. Talked about how it was set up when they dropped the tank off of their site. Now, this is a dual stage regulator as we covered. That's also a regulator. So chances are the fact that it's being multi-regulated is an issue. So what we decided we should do since I had the materials is I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect everything here. And turn this off while I'm thinking about it. Disconnect everything here. This is a standard POL connection. I'm gonna have some extensions that I used last year that will go from the POL to the Acme on that side. So we're gonna disconnect this, disconnect that, and replace it with what I have. Now these POL connections are reverse threaded, so I have to act like I'm tightening it to get it off. side for now and then this is a POL to Acme again reverse threaded so it's gonna go the opposite way Get that nice and snug I don't know if I'll need more than one of these, but I actually have two of them. So that's actually good news. And it has a typical Acme nut that would you know, hook onto your standard barbecue. And then this end will go on the rig side. Now this is normally threaded. Before I run this hose underneath my skirt, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to this connection here. And then, should be able to turn that on and start firing appliances again, maybe. All right, so new piping from the big tank. We're sitting at 11 and a half or so inches water column, which is good news. So this is just the water heater. Is it 10 and a half? Flame kicked on for the furnace, dropped to nine. Double multi regulation apparently is a problem. According to what uh, I've read online, when you're using about 50% of your total propane. You should be running at 11. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and bump up the pressure on our regulator so that it matches that intended 11 inch water column. 
you need to do this while your appliances are running. So I've got the water heater and the furnace going. Get this propane tank out the way. Pump it up a little bit. And we gotta go check. Uh, nine and a half. Bring it up some more. Okay, yeah, so the the primary regulator that the big tank is hooked to is now adjusted to 11 inches water column while appliances are running. Let's go ahead and kick them off. Blower is still running on the furnace, of course, but I'm going to let this sit now for 15 minutes. And make sure that it does not rise above that level. I wanted to add a comment about the dual changeover regulators as well. So, Dual stage, dual changeover. When one tank's empty, it switches over automatically. These have the adjustment as well. You may have to put the changeover switch in kind of a neutral position. And then it comes off like that. And then the cap is here. You switch over to a known full tank which should be this one. Yep, nothing red there. And then you can make your adjustments using the screw behind the cap. Once your adjustments are made, just screw the cap back on. Changeover switch. And you're good to go. Now that I know that this is working, I left the other tank open. Turn this one, well, I turned this one off to adjust that one. So now I need to route this hose so I can close the, the propane bay door. up. I had taken this cap out. There's no additional cover on this one. So that's all set. And I can place my propane tank back in even though I'm not using it right now. Close that up. After putting everything back together and testing it out, Everything seems to be working, but the thing that I'm still not quite sure of is why is it not working? You know, I, I said earlier in the video that you know, double regulation is not uh, capable, but there's a reason there is a regulator put on the top of the tank by the, by the supplier. So I'm going to say that this problem is not 100% resolved. Um, I'm gonna continue to do some research to understand what's going on and why uh, why I'm not able to run in a situation like I have. 
I've got uh, other people in the RV park here that have the large tanks. So I'm going to take a look, have some have some discussions with some of those folks, and see you know what's the difference between their system and mine. With that, I'm going to call it a day and get back to research. For now, my name's Todd, and this is the Alcohol Free RV where we have adventures while we do mods, repairs, and upgrades along the way. See you next time.